I'm going to be talking about the student services in Gaylord. It's on the second floor, um, room number 2533. It is where students take the LST. It is where students get advised. Um, <clears throat> there's usually a student running the front desk who will take any questions or anything like that. It's very easy to find. It's definitely a place for new students to find any information they could possibly need and they can send them in the right direction. It also has the lost and found. If anybody has lost anything, um, they can find it in there. It is really just in general a place to find any information that you could possibly need about Gaylord. There's always someone at the front desk to help you with assistance. Um, it, you'll even find students in there doing homework and things like that. It's just a place where Gaylord students can go to find anything that they might need. I have also had many interactions with other colleges, student service, student services, um, offices, and I, in my opinion, I think Gaylord is just the most attentive and willing to help. Um, the people who work there are usually there for the students and they really want to help you. And overall, it's just an easy place to find and just a good place to have any information that you might possibly need about the place. Um, it really is a great place to go to when it's like your first time being in Gaylord, especially as a new student. Hi, my name is Anna Marquez and I'm going to go over, be going over the graduate program that Gaylord offers. So to start off, the graduate program at Gaylord can be completed in two different ways, the first way being the traditional method of getting your bachelor's degree and applying for graduate school, while the second way is only offered to students who are enrolled and plan on getting their bachelor's degree through Gaylord. The second way is called the 4 plus 1 program, which is a pretty well-known program in Gaylord within Gaylord students, um, where Gaylord students need to at least have a 3.5 GPA apply during their sophomore year, have 60 credit hours to at least apply to the graduate program, and have completed 97 credit hours by the time a student actually is going to be entering into the program and actually starting the graduate program, which is typically around their senior year, which is why it's called the 4 plus 1 program, because you usually just need another year to complete the master's. Um, as far as degrees offered, there are three different degrees offered in Gaylord's grad program, which is an MA in journalism and mass communication with five different areas of emphasis to pick from, <coughs> which include uh, creative media production, media management, journalism, and strategic communication, PR, and advertising. And there's also an MA in strategic communication and digital design, which is offered online. And there's also a master's in professional writing. Everything that you want to find out about Gaylord's graduate program, you can find on Gaylord's website, as well as contact Larry Lanier, who is known as the graduate advisor for all graduate students at Gaylord College. And he can further help in answering any questions you have about the program or just general comments or concerns that you have or how the application process goes and anything like that but yeah that's just kind of a brief overview overview of the graduate program at Gaylord. As soon as you walk in the doors of Gaylord you're immediately greeted by our state-of-the-art computer lab that features dozens of Mac computers, uh, free printing for Gaylord students, and a fully functional news studio that hosts shows such as OU Nightly. If you're looking to be in more of a casual environment while meeting friends to do some homework, uh, on the second floor of the Gaylord building, there's the Creative Lab, which features the exact same things as the lab downstairs, which is Mac computers and free printing and all the Adobe suite and everything, but it also has a bunch of couches, uh, comfortable chairs, and a lot of open spaces to either meet for group projects or meet with friends to get some homework done. If you're a broadcast major and looking to go to Gaylord, then don't worry if you're more of a night owl. Our editing bays stay open until midnight, Monday through Thursday. The Macs and all the computer labs in Gaylord, whether it be the downstairs lab or the creative lab upstairs, uh, they all come equipped fully with the Adobe Suite, so whether you need to use Photoshop, Lightroom, or InDesign for a project, you'll always be good to go in one of the computer labs. Another great benefit of being a student here at Gaylord is having the ability to check out equipment. 
So whether you need to borrow a laptop, a charger, lighting, a camera, uh, basically anything you might need for a project here at Gaylord or, an, or your own personal project, um, it's available during the week and on the weekend and you can check it out free of charge. One thing that makes Gaylord College so different and cooler than others is that it is home to Lindsay and Asp. Lindsay and Asp is a student-run advertising and public relations agency within the college. As a student-run agency, Lindsay and Asp is uniquely positioned to help students gain a real-world understanding of how an agency works as well as help real businesses and companies around Oklahoma with their advertising and PR needs. Lindsay and Asp is found on the northern end of the second floor of Gaylord College. If you are interested in becoming a part of that agency, you can find out more information and apply on their website.